As we last left off, we just looked at Pac-Mania for the NES. This is Pac-Mania for the Genesis, and it's made by Tengen again. Are you surprised? To be honest with you, I don't think there were any licensed ports of Pac-Mania at all. Tengen made them all. I have to turn them down. Turn them down a little bit. And here we have, once again, the options. It's basically the same, except here we have a music and sound effects option. And there are no maze selections, at least. Push start, and here we are. If you keep that on long enough, it'll go to demo mode. It's basically the same idea. All the mazes are available except for the jungly steps. And I have gone through one... I have gone through every series of mazes at least once. I've done one lap of this entire game. And one thing I actually forgot to mention was that in these games you have limited continues. But that doesn't bother me because I have save states. And because I didn't show it in the NES version, I will be doing Block Town. Sandbox Land is just too hard. Believe it or not, Inky is somewhat rather smart in this game. He's nowhere as generous as, what, as he was in any of the other Pac-Man games. Here, he's there's no turn back. I mean, look how smart he is. And apparently, I apparently I suck at this game. I forgot what, where the jump button was. <coughs> oh, let's see. Uh, sorry about that. I don't know what got over me there. Um, I hate it when I have to record both my emulator and my, uh, screen record at the same time. It's just a pain. I'm using a different emulator. I forget the name of it because it's new to me. But I'll say it when we get to the next game. So as I was saying, Inky is much smarter than he was in the earlier counterparts. And also, I was just going to get to those. Different power pellets. Those were red ones. They are basically the same as the original power pellet, but they they last about half the time than they originally did. And whoa, that was close. Um, and there's also a green one that that lets you go faster, but it expires once the last power pellet you ate has ex has ended its period. Or its effect, or whatever you want to call it. It's called Bob, I don't care. I'm not your ruler. So, all the ghost speeds are basically the same. However, jumping it just keeps you suspended in the air and then lets you drop. It's a little awkward. Honestly, I think this is the only uh, Pac Mania port that let you do that. And hey, no freezing. There's a little bit of lagging, but no freezing. Thank God. I'm doing it in full screen. And it's not even FCE Ultra, the emulator I use for NES. At least during my free time. So yeah, I just gotta finish this maze and then we'll move on to the next game. I do like this port, though my favorite port, Pac-Mania, is still the NES version. It just seems so much more fair. The game just keeps going on and on until you lose all of your lives. <coughs> yeah, get the drill. So, that is Pac-Mania for the Genesis. Let's watch the next clip and then move on to the next game. This is Pac-Land for the NES, or the Famicom if you want to get technical. This was actually released in the arcades. I'm not exactly sure if it was released in North American arcades. But it's basically a platforming game, much like Mario. But it's actually pretty fun, but it's also very short. And at times it could be a little hard. It's been a while since I've played this game. The last time I played it... 
I played it on on virtualnes.com. If you stay still long enough, then wow. If you stay still long enough, that purple ghost Sue, we know them by now. She will chase after you, and she'll be chasing after you throughout the entire stage. And our main problem is the control. You push, you push X to run left, and you push... No, you push A to... You push A to, to move right, and you push B to move left. Shouldn't it really be the D-pad? And you push up to jump. So if you're using a D-pad, that could be a bit of a problem. Anywhere on the D-pad, even down. So the first level is actually pretty easy. And you may see some white balls disappearing. That's your time limit. I was just sitting there ranting about the levels of the game. So, the controls could catch you off guard, but once you get used to the controls, they really aren't that bad. Come on, I really want that one up. Oh wait, that's a packed dot. Oh my god. And that's how a level ends, like that. Very awkward, right? Now, you're in the arcade version, you were actually given much more time. You're given like 10 of those things. You're given like 10 of those buggers. This is where things start to get a bit tricky. The farthest I've ever gotten was the third stage, but that's because I haven't had save states. And I'm not even using save states right now, why even bother? And, pretty self-explanatory, if you touch a ghost, you, you fall to your death. So, I'll get to you about the ports, or the release dates, just, I'll get back to them by the end of the video. <coughs> no continues, though. Basically, you're going after a princess, much like Peach from Mario. And you gotta go back to the entire s last stage again. There are only four stages, counting the third one, but going backwards, I think. So that's Pac Land. Next game. Now, here we have yet another Genesis game by Tengen. Are you surprised? So, anyway, the emulator that I was using is Gens. That's G E N S. It works a lot better, but it seems that whenever I go to change the input, the emulator crashes on me. I can't change the controls. So, I don't know what's up with that. Maybe it's just Windows 7. That's a problem with this. Many of those emulators don't really seem to cooperate on Windows 7. And at the end of the video, I will get to you about the Pac-Man tension situation. So this is Ms. Pac-Man for the Genesis. Sorry for the delay. Uh... Okay, I just wanted to make sure there was sound. Um, I believe there is a Super Nintendo port as well, but both versions are the same game. And check out what happens when you get rid of a ROM. Pretty cool. Too bad, unfortunately, there's no reset button, so you'd be screwed there. Here, it's basically the same as the NES port of this. So, A, S, and D, they select. Um, okay, use A or C. Thank you. So, strange, big, mini. I'm going to do a mini one just because I don't want to spend too much time here. And we'll start on level one. They certainly were not kidding when they said Mini Maze. It's basically a Genesis port of this. The Super Nintendo version is the same, so... Yeah. I'd rather... 
Honestly, I'd rather play the, the, the Super Nintendo one, because I'm more used to Nintendo's controls. Genesis's controls just don't work out for me. The Genesis is sa the Super Nintendo's sound might be different than this, but I'm really not sure. Since it's a small maze, it really shouldn't take me that long. Thank you. And I forgot to mention that in this game, all the ghosts have their own individual speeds. And oh god! That's the problem with these games. You always get trapped in an area. It's so easy to get trapped. <laughs> Especially when this is a mini maze, but it really shouldn't take that long. And there you go. There you have all the games I happen to own. I know there are more games, but, I, but I'd have to spend a lot of time working on reviewing all those games. This is about as good as I can manage. And there are more, there are more ports that I absolutely love, but why even get to them when we've basically gone through all the, the real ideas of those ports? The only difference is the console and the graphic changes and the sounds. The gameplay is all the same. So, I'm really glad you enjoyed it, and... On to the analysis of all these games. So, yeah, all these games were pretty fun to play, but I believe there's one game that kind of stood out in particular, at least for me. You ready? Here it is. To be fair, I kind of choose Pac-Mania for the NES over all these other games. Well, you move much slower, which gives you a little more reaction time to where you need to go. Um, you get, it's one of the first games where they introduced more ghosts. In fact, I believe it's the one where they did introduce the ghosts. And Sue appeared in the Pac-Man cartoon. You know how cheesy all those cartoons were back then. It might be a different opinion, but whatever. The cartoon is actually based off of Pac-Land. <laughs> whatever. Um, they introduced more Pac pellets, no, power pellets that you can eat, and they all have these specific power-ups that are very unique to the game. And it's a good experience. This was one of the first NES games I tried out on Emulator, and I liked it. The only problem is you have limited continues, but that's a minor issue if you have an Emulator. So, yeah. This one stands out in particular. The Genesis version... The Genesis version seems a little unfair because the hit detection, or, you know, the area outside of you, if any of the ghosts touches that area. Okay, let me reword it. Um. Okay, how do I say it? It's so much easier to get hit by a ghost. The hitboxes are much bigger, and. It's much more risky in that game. Here, it's much easier to stay away from the ghosts. And in the Genesis version, it's very easy to jump on top of a ghost when you re uh, when you really should be jumping over it. So yes, Pac-Mania for the NES, I feel, stands out. So that wraps that up. Also, I was mistaken about the release year for the Pac-Man Tengen version. It was 1990, unlike the Namco version, which was 1993. 
In Japan, it was released in 1984, which kind of made us probably a little jealous to see that they got nine, nine years in advance. <laughs> I mean, I feel jealous. I'm a big Pac-Man fan, and we deserve to be released the same year. I mean, even the Tengen version was released six years late. Tengen is a North American company, so they wouldn't really care about it. But all ports of, but all ports of that are the same game. Whether it's the Japanese version, the Tengen version, and the Namco, and the Namco U.S. version, they're all the same game. So that's it for this one. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the vid, and I'll see you next time, whenever it will be. See you later.